Hello, Justin Hartney here, and today I'm going to show you how to add contrast to a starry night sky with just one layer in Photoshop. We'll turn this sky into this sky using just the curves layer. So we'll open it up in Photoshop and begin the process there. So what we're going to do is duplicate the layer and then using one of Tony Kuiper's luminosity actions, we're going to create a dark's luminosity mask. And we'll go to channels to find the luminosity mask made there. And what you see is an invert of the image and we're going to pick one where it has most of the stars black and the rest of the sky has a gray. What that means is when we make the adjustments, it's going to affect the gray and white areas, but not the black areas. So it's going to darken the sky around the stars, making the stars pop. So we're going to command select the mask right there, and that's going to create a selection. And then we're going to go up to adjustments and click curves. And before we edit it, we're going to click again option on the mask, and then command L to bring up the levels and we're gonna boost the whites to get even more of our contrast to affect more of the night sky, and also bring down the blacks to make sure the stars aren't affected. What you will notice though, however, is that a lot of the foreground is completely white, so it will also get affected. But we're gonna click W, make sure it's the quick selection tool, and select the foreground roughly. So that way we can paint that black so it doesn't affect it. And that doesn't need to be the best edit because we'll be able to brush it in afterwards to fine tune it. So we're gonna go onto the brush, make sure it's painting in black at 100% flow and 100% opacity. And we're gonna go for a soft round brush. And it's not getting everywhere, but it's going to be good enough for what we're trying to do for now. We're going to make a deselection and go over the parts that we missed really roughly. And now we'll go to the curves adjustment and under the RGB, select somewhere in the middle and pull it down. And now that we see where it's getting selected, and right here there's, um, the brush wasn't very strong, so we're gonna go back, select the mask, go to brush again, leave out 100% opacity, but we're gonna go with a 20% flow, which means it's gonna take five brush strokes to get it to where it looks like here, so we can kind of feather it off. Whoops, and it's under black. We want to make sure it's white so it's painting in the adjustment we're making into the sky. And because the trees are black and already a kind of a silhouette, it's a lot easier to just brush over on the trees and make it look smooth. All right, so now that we've made a quick adjustment, we've turned it from that to that, and we'll adjust it a little more. We could bring it down a little more to get even more of a darker sky, or maybe not so much, but to keep the contrast. But while using the curves layer still, we can go to the RGBs and add some color. To make a little bit more of a blue night sky, select around the middle and ever so slightly just move it up. If you move up too much, it's gonna be too blue. If you move it closer to the highlights, it will only affect part of the highlights. If you only move it down to the bottom, it's gonna affect more of the darks, which is what we selected. So we'll have it somewhere in the middle, just up a little bit. And we'll also go to red, and we're not going to add red, but subtract red, which is actually going to add a cyan color into the sky. So just a little bit. And it looks like it might be a little too much blue, so we'll go back to the blue and add just a little less. So just in that one layer, with a couple quick selections on it, you can turn the night sky into something much more contrasty. It's a great starting point, but I think it's a great trick to use to make the skies pop a lot more, especially on a hazy night. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much. Let me know if you have any other questions.